So this is one of my crazier stories um, about being a professional organizer. Actually, it's not that crazy. It's just kind of like one of those sort of cliche, like funny things that people kind of wonder. Um, Not so much about me, but about my client, which is very interesting because my client in this story was actually a professional psychic. So what prompted me um, to tell this story was that I was recently in that neighborhood and um, had completely forgotten that I've been there before until I enter and I'm walking around and I remember being in the psychic's apartment. So story happened about two, three years ago when I get a call to help um, a daughter and her mother who was kind of older, like maybe in her 70s or 80s. And um, the mother's husband had just passed away. And they were, I believe they were getting the condo ready to sell. It was a luxury condo on the river, very nice place. They had been living there for quite some time. And um, they were prepping it uh, to stage it which is something I do. So I arrive, um, I believe, I'm pretty sure I knew before arriving there that the mom was a professional psychic and, you know, whatever. I didn't really talk about it. Like, I don't necessarily talk about what my clients do unless it is directly involved in their, um, you know, like their needs to get organized. So... Um, yeah, I mean, the psychic thing came up, you know, a few times over the course of me being there. And, um, a couple interesting things I learned. So apparently the psychic, this professional psychic woman had been getting phone calls and death threats and angry hate mail for some reason. I don't really remember why or if it was just like in general, um, so that was kind of odd. And then, um, so here's the funny story, actually. It's a very quick story. So it was toward the end of the project and, um, someone, I think it was the daughter, lost her car keys. And so everyone is frantically searching the house for the car keys and the whole time. I'm kind of like holding back laughter because, you know, the obvious thing you think of, you know, if you're psychic (laughs) um, and the daughter claimed to also, you know, have like those types of abilities as well. Um, So if I'm, you know, if everyone is kind of psychic, like, can't they just like, shouldn't they know where the keys are or like, I don't know. Um, But I didn't say anything, obviously, and I, whatever. (laughs) Um, So everyone's still frantically walking around, like, well, really, like, running and searching. And I think her son had come by, who's a chiropractor. Well, maybe I don't want to reveal that detail, but her son came by as well. And so um, let me just say that, like, nothing, quote unquote, psychic really happened (laughs) While I was there, like, she didn't, you know, predict the future or any of that stuff. I mean, clearly, you know, like, we're all looking for keys and things. Um, But I said, while they're frantic and they're, like, getting upset because they're not finding the keys, I said something to the the effect of, oh, I think the keys are in the office. Um, That's where I saw them last. And they probably fell in between the seat cushions on the love seat or, you know, this, whatever seat was next to the desk where I'd seen them, you know, to me, it was just like a logical guess because if people have covered all the surfaces, then clearly what they're looking for is somewhere that's kind of hidden. How do things get to hidden places? They, you know, you inadvertently knock them off a desk or you think you're setting them firmly, but then they fall off and they fall into like a crevice. Well, they search, 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 and then finally the keys are found um, in the couch cushions. And so the daughter then comes to me and she says something like, 
um well clearly you're intuitive as well like meaning psychic and you know I didn't say anything but I'm kind of like I don't know like logic reasoning you know um clearly it's not on the table it's not on the bookshelf it's either under something or in between of in a space that's not readily visible you know maybe someone knocked the keys over and off the table while they were frantically searching and didn't see them um you know I'm thinking all this stuff I don't say it but I just thought it was funny um because you know this is one of those things that people ask about psychics kind of like or I think you know like because they're they've approached me on several occasions I'm sure they do this to other people like in malls and things like that and in my mind I'm like well why did you ask like shouldn't you have known that I was gonna say no (laughs) you know um I don't know maybe that's not how they do their thing uh but yeah so that's just a funny little anecdote about kind of the more interesting characters I have encountered over the course of being a professional organizer in the New York and New Jersey area um and I have plenty more stories like that so subscribe follow my podcast and I will chat with you in the next one Bye.